Hey there YouTubers, Stampede Survival here for my next video. Um, today I'm making a video on a survival kit that I put together, and I'm pretty happy about this one. I'm calling it the FX3 for food, fire, and first aid. So it's not a comprehensive um, survival kit, but it's something that you could throw into your EDC or a bug out bag, and then you'll have a uh, localized area with these uh, specific supplies. Um, I bought this uh, uh, container at Walmart. I think I only paid five bucks for it. And if you can see that, it's a Winchester choke tube holder. Um, so it's real soft. Uh, it's made of like a canvas type material. Um, has a clamshell zipper. It has a couple straps on the back. Or if you wanted to uh, place this on a belt, you could. It also comes with a, uh, a hook. So if you wanted to hook it on the external part of your pack, you could actually hook it on there. Um, it did not come with this flashlight, um, this little micro light. Um, I went ahead and added that because you always need a light. Um, in a survival situation, so I went ahead and put that on there as a backup. Um, like I said, it has a clamshell zipper, so it opens up, and there's the insides. Um, I went ahead and added a piece of uh, paracord in there, um, so it doesn't, doesn't exactly apply to the kit, but I always need extra lines, so I always tuck a hank wherever I could put one, so I went ahead and put that in there. And then there's the inside of the kit. Um, so any of you hunters out there, you might be familiar with these choke tube holders. Um, keep uh, chokes in there clean and organized. And this comes with six of them. And I'll go ahead and show you the contents. And this first one is Vaseline soaked cotton balls, which you guys have all heard me talk about these. Um, I've got maybe five, six of them in here. Um, each one, if you light the entire cotton ball, it'll last a few minutes. So it'll help you get fires going and uh, um, damp conditions. Um, they work, these things are awesome, but I won't go into that too much because you guys have all heard me talk about them before. Um, and this one here, I have five uh, compressed fuel tabs. Um, when I bought my Coglin's uh, uh, emergency uh, cooking stove, it came with 24 of these. And these things just happen to fit perfectly in here. So I, I went ahead and placed five of them in there. Uh, these things are great to assist with fire starting, um, boiling water, you know, cooking, just wh whatever you need. Each one burns for about 10 minutes, maybe. Um, so this will this will do wonders in a survival situation to ensure your survival. And then to start your fires, I have some a bunch of waterproof matches. I put a, a striker up a box in here, and then your everyday uh, mini bic lighter. So lots of fires can be started with this, and everything will stay dry in these choke tube holders. I don't know if these things are 100% waterproof, but they're de de definitely water resistant. So everything should stay dry. And if you wanted to make sure it was even more uh, waterproof, you could wrap some electrical tape around the top just to ensure it stayed waterproof, or maybe a hot glue gun or something, to, or some silicone wrapped around the top. And that would definitely ensure that they stayed waterproof. Um, on the other side here, in this one I have a uh, small, flashlight. That way you can see what you're doing while you're cooking, um, preparing your uh, fishing gear or whatever. It's nice to have an extra light. I know I've got one on the outside, but I, li I like to be redundant, make sure uh, I have uh, the stuff taken care of that I need. And then here I've got a large piece of aluminum foil. Um, this can be used for so many different things. You can make a cup out of it to boil water. Um, you can use it as a radiator to radiate heat back to you. Um, you can place it on a couple sticks, wrap it around some sticks, and make a frying pan out of it. Um, lots of uses. You can use it as sig you know, a signaling device. So I made sure it had a good, pe good sized piece of that in here to assist with uh, cooking and fire. Um, and over here, this is more. This is a knife kit. Or just a small cutting utensil kit for your food. Um, I've got a small military can opener in here, so if you're in an urban survival situation and you find some you know, canned food, you have a means to open it. Um, I've got a small razor knife, which could be used to uh, help clean fish that you catch, um, small game. So these are inexpensive. I bought them at a, at a hobby store. I think I, they're maybe a dollar a piece. I mean, I think I paid two or three dollars for a multi-pack of them, so um, that's a great thing to carry around. And this you've seen in other kits that I carry. Um, it's just a uh, jigsaw blade. I've got some electric, or, uh, duct tape wrapped around as a handle. So you can use this to uh, help uh, cut down for firewood. It'll help you uh, prepare a game that you catch, fish, whatever. Um, 
So that's a good thing to have. And I've got, you know, multiple blades in here, so you have a redundancy. And then in the last tube, I have a small fishing kit. And this is a, just another variation. I've, I've got several fishing kits out there, and I think a lot of you have seen some of them on my other videos. But I've got, you know, a, a small bobbin. These are ah, um, small uh, fish or sewing machine bobbins. Uh, my wife sews a lot, so she has these laying around. They're inexpensive. You pay a few bucks and you can get, you know, I think they come in a 12 pack. And I think I've got about maybe 100 feet of uh, 12 pound fishing line on here. So it's a great way to carry your line and keep it compact and doesn't get all bird's nest on you and, you know, tangled up. And then in here, I won't, I won't yank them all out, but I've got various uh, crappie jigs. Um, I've got some number six and some number four fish hooks and some uh, some split weights and a bobber and some fish and some uh, uh, safety pins. So it's not by any means a comprehensive uh, fishing kit, but it'd be great in a survival situation. You know, if you could find yourself some night crawlers, put them on these hooks, bang, you're going to catch some fish. And uh, if that's not working, you've got some jigs here. So I think it's a it'll do in a survival situation to help uh, secure your survival. And then also for the first aid part of my FX3 kit is just a small Ziploc bag and I've got some alcohol wipes in here, um, some Advil, some various band-aids. Um, just in case you're getting little nicks or cuts, scrapes, um, that'll really help prevent infection and help take care of yourself. And like I said, I also carry a small hank of a paracord. So that is my FX3 survival kit. Um, I hope you like it. Um, I try to come up with new ideas and different ways of organizing my gear and to make it, uh, you know, just make it fun. You know, if you just throw a bunch of contents in a bag and, you know, if that's your way of doing it, fine. Um, but I like to play around different ideas and to uh, share my ideas with you guys. So um, if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. Um, you know, I'm going to keep making these videos as long as you guys are watching them. Uh, I appreciate everyone's support. And uh, once again, this is Stampede Survival. This is my FX3 survival kit. And uh, thank you for watching, and God bless everyone.